Hey everyone, this is Daniel the Paladin with Christian Adventure Gamer. I'm here at Origins 2024 and I'm here at the Three Nail Games booth. And Sam's going to show us his new upcoming game, Go for the Krill. Hi everybody, I'm Sam. Uh, this is Go for the Krill. It is a nautical card game about nautical creatures uh, going after what they eat, mostly plankton and krill. Uh, so the object of this game is to get the most points at the end of 12 rounds. Every player at the table will be given an identical hand of 12 cards, 10 of which are numbered 1 through 10, and then an additional two special cards, a squid and a penguin. Now they have unique effects, I'll talk about those in a minute. The idea of every round of the game is every player will simultaneously and privately select a card from their hand that ideally associates with one of the piles of points at the table. So in this case, let's say that I try to go after this pile of sixes. And maybe this player plays that card, and then let's say this player goes to play this card. Once every player has chosen a card, they'll all simply flip over their cards and reveal their selection. If you're the only player at the table to play a number of that printed value, you'll simply collect all cards of that value. These are then won by you, they're able to be scored at the end of the game. Krill are simply worth double their value, so that's four points. Now, if multiple players at the table play the same value, they'll cancel each other out, and that card, those cards are simply discarded. No one will be awarded any of the cards in the pile, and that pile simply stays there. That's the conclusion of a whole round. As we set up for the next round, we simply will leave all of the cards existing on the spread currently, and we'll deal an amount of cards from the food deck equal to twice the number of players at the table. So if we're playing with three players, we draw an additional six cards. And we'll deal these one by one and add them to their respective piles. So we've got a couple sevens, a five, and we proceed. I mentioned we have a giant squid, so this simply, uh, let's pretend that we're a few rounds in. This is the end of round three. On a round which a player plays their squid, they won't collect any food that round, but they'll be able to collect a card from their discard pile and return it to their hand. The reason that's powerful is that you'll play every card in your hand exactly once per game. So it's you want to be very thoughtful and considerate as to when you play what card, especially when you're trying to not cancel out and bounce your cards with other players. We also have the Emperor Penguin, which um, functions similarly to a wild card. Uh, this basically can collect any food stack that's not been chosen by another player. So let's say that this player played a 2, this player played a 6. Um, the Penguin can then collect any other pile at the table. Yes, not the chosen. And that's pretty much the gist of the game. It goes on like this for 12 rounds. Players will retain their last card in their hand. They count up their krill, and whoever has the highest point count wins. Awesome. So this is going to Kickstarter, and when is it going to Kickstarter? Uh, three weeks from today, July 16th. Um, so we've got uh, an expansion that's going to be coming along with it. Uh, Darker Waters introduces some expansion, uh, some variability. Uh, in I mentioned those special cards just a second ago. We'll also include the albatross, uh, the whale shark, leopard seal, krill net, and great white shark. These can be interchanged with the penguin and the squid, uh, not the squid, but the penguin, um, and provide different interactivity and different ways to set up the, the board, uh, the game state. Every awesome. Game. So, uh, yeah, the expansion includes some other, some other modules, um, but yeah, that's the idea. Awesome, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, absolutely, take care.